Hello and welcome to Aftershoot, a revolutionary system to speed up your workflow. In today's tutorial video, we're going over spray can mode. Spray can mode is a brand new feature released in the latest update of Aftershoot that allows you to simply click on images to rank them. To enter spray can mode, you're going to head up to your toolbar and click on the spray can. Now you'll see three new buttons. You have the left click, the right click, and the exit spray can mode. And you'll also see that your mouse is now turned into a spray paint can. These two buttons determine what a left click and a right click mean in spray can mode. So in this case, we can go ahead and set it to whatever we'd like. For right now, we're going to leave it as no colors and no stars. We're going to go ahead and look at our right click, and our right click is actually matching my selected images, so it's five stars and green. And now by simply clicking on any image, I can left click to reject it, and I can right click to add it to my selections. This is a great way to scroll through the grid mode and just make some fast changes to sets of images. For instance, I would rather not have this image because he's smiling better here, so I'll go ahead and click that duplicate set away and it'll reject that image. Another great way to use spray can mode is actually to look at all of the images. What looking at all of the images can do will actually allow you to review everything you shot, including all the images that landed in the blurred and closed eyes quick filter, because now you're reviewing everything, including your duplicates. This is a great way to verify the work that Aftershoot has done while still making sure you review all the images. So a great example would be this image right here. This is one that I would actually like to deliver to my client. So by simply right clicking on it, it's now added to my selected images. Another great option available to you, we can change the right click to be five stars in blue in my case, which is my highlights. So now I can actually scroll through and simply just add images to my highlights that I would like to edit immediately for a sneak preview. So by right clicking, it's now become a highlight image. And again, this can be changed to your preferences as to how you would like to call these images and how you would like them to operate. So by right clicking and left clicking, we're now able to review all of our images quite quickly, make changes, and then go ahead and save those changes and bring them into our editing software. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to our in-app support. And of course, be sure to watch our other YouTube videos to learn what Aftershoot can do for you.